Well, machine learning, explainable machine learning for coral classification. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, what, what are we actually on about here? What is this video going to be about? Let's just, let's just say, hopefully you'll get to see some pretty pictures of coral samples, but more than that, we're going to demonstrate how Lime, which is a machine learning model explainer, can be used in an unusual context. The unusual context is explaining coral image classifications. So I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about the background of why I did this, which you can skip through in a few seconds, and then I'm going to do a demo of the dashboard. So, the background. The background is that James Cook University in conjunction with Queensland Museum in North Queensland, Australia, right there beside the Great Barrier Reef, is interested in how um, coral species relate to each other. Um, they've. This is a really good article that gives you an overview of the subject. I'll leave a link in to this in the video. But the basic idea is that, like uh, these researchers are saying, you look at those two specimens and they look identical but they diverged tens of millions of years ago. And this is important because unless you know what's there on the coral reefs around the world you don't know how to conserve it. So this is all about conserving biodiversity. Now they we've started doing DNA sequencing of these specimens that they have to work out the genetic history and the lineage in the tree of life but they thought that image classification techniques might be useful but they are not sure whether it's worth um, investigating pursuing that so there's lots of keen university students about and people like me who have um, experience with classifying models so what I've done is set up a image classifier, just a simple image classifier that picks the subclade of the coral and lets them explain how that image works using how the image classification was come up with. So that's the purpose of that LIME thing that I mentioned before. LIME is the mach locally interpretable machine agnostic explanations. So this dashboard, let's talk about the dashboard. The dashboard is meant to quickly display all the images associated with one of the 950 specimens that they've currently taken photos of. So there's about 10,000 images in the data set. So this dashboard lets them quickly select a specimen and display the images associated with that specimen. But more than displaying the images associated, it s displays the subclade. Well, there are lots of different levels of the biological tree of life that these specimens have already been classified in manually using other techniques. They've been used as tags for the machine learning model, and this particular model is looking at the subclade called Florida of this specimen. So you can see we have all different sorts of images. We have images in the wild, we have useless images of labels, we have images of the specimen on the bench from all different angles and all different depths. So this particular model that's running behind this dashboard has classified this incorrectly, this image incorrectly as a letestila but here it's got the image class the subclade classification correct so the dashboard lets the researchers or anybody click one of these buttons that runs an explanation process now the explanation process modifies that image a thousand times and sees what makes what parts of the image contribute to the exp to the classification Florida and which parts um, don't contribute subtract from the confidence that the model has that it's a Florida so this is easier to see if you easier to 
um, see the output. So if we click the button, what happens is that in the background here, you can see a summary of what the lime engine is doing. It's looking at a specimen called that is a Florida. This is the image file. It's predicted f Florida as well, and it's running 70 times a second. Different modifications of that image. When it finishes, it displays the original image and heat maps that indicate which parts of the image contributed to that Florida classification. So for this image, you can see that unfortunately it appears to have looked at a lot of the areas around the coral. You can see the green here indicating that these are the strong areas. An alternative more rigorous that more rigorous description of that is in this heat map which shows you the contribution to it. So this section here which is looks like it's that branch down there is actually the most useful part of the image. All these other parts of the coral aren't useful in contributing. So, contributing to the classification. So this explainer lets the researchers pick any image of a specimen and explain why it's come up with the classification that it has. Um, there are different images. We have images that uh, include microscope images and some of these are quite useful but I haven't yet done enough analysis to explain fully which ones are useful and which ones aren't. The point about this dashboard is that it makes it easy for researchers to understand the explanations that are being produced by the model and get an intuitive feel for whether the model is reliable in its classifications. So I might call it quits there. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to put any comments you have uh, get in touch with me if you want to discuss. Um, I'll put some links in the comments and we'll see how we go. Thanks very much.